Hi everybody, welcome back. I hope that you're doing great. I am going to do a tag for you today and I printed it out here. Um, I don't know why the, the background is black, but it actually helps me to read it better. Not that I have problems with reading, but um, let me just adjust the camera. Sorry about that. Maybe that's a little better. Okay. Um, this tag has been done by several people here on YouTube. Uh, the last one I saw was Sherry. Hi, Sherry. From Home Heart Help. I'll put her um, link down below. It was also done by Mary Ellen After 60. And I'll put her link down below too. And then I think Melissa55 did this. So I'll put her link down below too. Um, it is the influencer or YouTuber, whatever you want to call it, um, tag. I'll put the official name like in the title up there. Okay, so let's get started. I have a 17 questions. The first question is, how do you feel about the term influencer and do you feel you are one? Um, I have kind of mixed feelings about the term influencer. I believe that if someone is truly representing stuff that or products, I should say, that they actually use and like. Um, I don't mind it, but the last several years, I do notice or have a feeling that a lot of these so-called influencers, they don't really use the things that they promote every day. Uh, it's a very kind of touchy subject to talk about because I don't want to like accuse anybody of not being truthful. But I guess some of the words that I don't like that they use are like, you have to buy this. It will change your life. Maybe change your life is one that's okay. But there's another one. Oh, I'm obsessed. Uh, I think they are so forceful when they're representing a product instead of being truthful. So not that crazy about the word influencer. It's hard to tell if they're really trying to influence you or if they're trying to make money. And then I know that for a lot of them, it is their job. But personally, I couldn't represent a product that I didn't feel was worth the price, even if it was given to me for free. Um, myself, I don't consider myself an influencer. I think I'm more of like, uh, I like to share things. I like to share things that I enjoy using, uh, that I enjoy doing. I'm starting to incorporate some more life t lifestyle into my videos. Um, so me, myself, you know, I have very, very little channel. I've been doing YouTube for a very long time, since I think 2010, 2011. Uh, for some time, I haven't been consistent. And yes, health reasons. And a lot of people don't like to hear about that, but um, I'll talk about that more later. Anyway, so that's my feelings uh, about the term influencer. Number two. How did you decide to become a content creator? See, I like that term better, content creator. Uh, for me, I was going through a specifically hard time with my health. Um, for those of you that are just watching, um, I have lupus and mixed connective tissue disorder and a couple other things, but specifically the lupus and mixed connective tissue disorder uh, was making me very ill. I was on a lot of medications and specifically my mobility was very poor. I used a wheelchair, I used a cane, um, cane was later, but I used a wheelchair and I had a lot of time where I was home and I've always enjoyed wearing makeup, playing around with makeup, and so I started the channel to kind of share the things that I liked and how I did my makeup. Now I'm kind of in a different part of my life. My health is better. 
I still have lupus. There is no cure. Uh, there's no cure to any of the diseases I have, but I am a lot more mobile and I'm also older. So I'm what my my channel is about now is sharing uh, beauty, lifestyle, skincare, very into skincare, and also to kind of promote, not to kind of, but to promote that just because you're getting older doesn't mean you need to just kind of give up. And no, I don't wear makeup every day, but I go and I get my hair done. If I couldn't afford to get it done, I would color it at home. I, you know, get haircuts. I, I do a lot of good skin care and, you know, constantly like working on myself. And that's kind of like where I am at now. But I started it at a time when I couldn't get out a lot and I wanted to share things and I wanted to meet people that were like-minded. Okay, I think these answers are gonna be really long. I'm sorry, but kind of chatty today. Um, number three, what's your experience with knowing other creators in life, good or bad? I have made a lot of online friends here. I'm gonna say that 99.9% .9 of the people that I have met here have been wonderful. And we have established a friendship that has gone over to Facebook, to Instagram, some of them emails. Um, I have never met in person the people that I have become friends through YouTube with. I hope to sometime in the future, but we'll see. Um, I do have an experience. I met a influencer by mistake. I don't like that word and then I used it. I met a YouTuber by mistake, coincidentally, whatever you want to say. Uh, it was Jacqueline Hill, who has a very big following now. This was in the beginning of her channel when she first was starting out filming in her kitchen. Now, I don't really watch her anymore because her things are more things that I'm kind of not so interested. Once in a while, I will catch a video. But at the time I watched her videos and I thought that she was really good. And I just had this feeling that she was really gonna become something. So um, not that the average person isn't something, but you know, become big on YouTube and social media and she has. So she was working at a store um, that I frequent and uh, she happens to live in this city near me. I'm not gonna say, but anyway, uh, the city near me and I saw her in the store, so I just went up to myself, to myself, to her, introduced myself, told her that I loved her channel and that she was gonna be really great at this. And so that's the only time she was, at the time, she was very shy, very sweet, and it was, it was nice. So other than that, no, I haven't really met, I haven't really, I haven't met any. Uh, let's see, number four, do you accept sponsorships and how do you feel about them? Sponsorships is another kind of like, can be taboo because sometimes people don't believe what you're saying about a product if you're getting paid for it. I think I can see their point and I also can see the point of the content creator not lying but taking a sponsorship so that they make that money because if this is their chosen path I wish them the best. Personally I have never been asked. I'm such a small channel. Once in a blue moon, somebody will send me like an email. They want to send me a product. It's never been from a big mainstream company. Currently, I do have one that I'll be reviewing in a little bit. Um, but there was no money exchange, no contract, nothing. And um, I like to believe that people know that I'm truthful. If I don't like something, I'll say so. Uh, so I can't really say if I will accept it or not because I've never been asked. And that's kind of the person that I am in general. I can't make a judgment on something unless I'm in the situation. I might have a little bit of opinion, but it's not a total yes or no. All right, number five. Have you had an experience with a brand that left a bad taste in your mouth? Honestly, no. 
I, I haven't. I have done videos where I have put down, not put down, but I've been honest and said I didn't like a product and that I thought it was garbage or whatever term I used at the time. I never heard from anybody and there's never been any backlash, so no. All right, so number six, how do you deal with negative comments? I probably have received maybe two negative comments in the whole time that I have been on YouTube. Um, one of them just sticks out because I thought it was just so crazy. Uh, at a time in the past when I was a lot heavier than I am, uh, somebody got onto a page, not page, but a video and wrote something like, um, if you don't lose weight now, uh, you're going to die and your children aren't going to have a mother. Get off uh, your ass and go ride a bike or go for a walk. And I just laughed at, laughed at it because number one, that person doesn't know me. So who cares? Number two, um, if they watched my channel and knew me, they knew that I don't have children. Um, I thought it was so rude and disrespectful. Uh, I mean, what if I had an issue that I have never had children? What if that's something that could trigger me? But but morons like that, they don't really care. So uh, that's the only time that I had like a problem with negative comments. I will address something though, because I never have, and this is interesting. Several years ago, um, several, I was in communication with a YouTuber and she kind of went off the deep end and she went and told somebody that lies. I don't even remember what they were about, but that they were about me, that I was like negative and I was going to expose them and I'm like expose for what? Well, another YouTuber who's still on, that first person doesn't do videos anymore, but the YouTuber that's still on went on this rampage against me, made a video, did not mention my name, and I lost a bunch of subscribers. And I thought, that first person that made that video, I followed her and watched her videos. She should have the decency to at least check with me if those facts were right. And at the time, I don't think I was brave enough to answer, but if I could go back in time, I would say, hey, the person that you're talking about is me? And no, I did not do those things to that person. So check with me or check with the, the second person because you know, just because one person tells you something doesn't mean it's the truth. So that's the first and last time I issued that. And that was so long ago. I got over it, but it was just quite annoying. And the people that left, what are you gonna do? Okay, um, let's see. What is your biggest pet peeve when it comes to comments? Um, I don't have any personally, but I think like the silly comments that I see more on like larger channels of like, uh, why are you doing this? Or that was a waste of time. Or I think those are just so stupid. Grow up. Um, I don't like when people try to attack other people's children. And I don't like when people call other people haters when they've made a comment about them because they care about them or their situation. That's not a hater. That's a person that's concerned about you. Okay, um, enough with the pet peeves. What is your favorite part of being a content creator? My favorite part is to share things that I have discovered, to share tips and techniques for, for people that are just starting out in makeup, whether you are young or my age in, the, in your 50s and you've decided you want to just kind of try something new. Um, I love to encourage people to kind of step out of their comfort zone when it comes to makeup, even style, and to try to feel as good as, as you can inside and out. And meeting 
you, meaning the people that that I follow and that follow me and the communication, getting to know you, your families, your pets. I mean, it's just, it's been really fun. I love that. That's Those two are kind of tied, the sharing and the meeting people. Okay, the next one is, da, da, da. oh, what is your least favorite, I said part, sorry. What is your least favorite part of being a content creator? Um, to be honest with you, and I'm not doing any Catholic guilt because yes, I am Catholic. Um, my least favorite part is working on a video and then getting like two comments. And it's like, and I see so many views and I know people are busy, but even just like a thumbs up or hi, I just love to see that, you know, I'm, the interaction, I miss that. Okay, uh, I miss that when you don't interact. Uh, number 10, what, oh, do you edit your own content? If so, do you enjoy it? Um, I don't really edit my videos. If I do, I do it with, um, movie maker but sometimes the iMovie maker I film on my iPhone I used to film on a video camera when I first started but I never could find a editing program that was simple enough to use and my husband is so sweet he's literally a rocket scientist he's actually an uh, aerospace engineer and um He's super smart, but he's so down to earth. Anyway, uh, one Christmas, my parents wanted to buy me an editing software for for a gift. And so he picked it out and it was so cute because he picked out this software that, I mean, I would have to go back to college to understand it. But I thought it was so sweet of them. So long answer, short story, long story short, no, I don't. If I do, it's just like very slight and it's with iMovie. All right. Uh, da, da, da. Number 11. Where do you draw the line in regard to sharing on social media? Okay. I don't share intimate personal details like exactly where I live. I don't share people that I know that are not comfortable with being on social media. Like I take a lot of pictures in life but I don't always post them. I might post like where I'm at, if I'm having dinner with people or going somewhere uh, to an event. But if I'm with people that I know are not comfortable being on camera or a picture posted, I don't post them. Um, I don't post really anything too personal because I like my privacy. Um, I will share things, but I'm not going to share things that I feel are just going overboard for me. Other people do it. That's fine with them. I just want to respect the people that are in my life that didn't sign up for this. I signed up for this. So if you watch this video, you don't like it and you leave me a comment, that's on me. And I, you know, honestly don't really care. But if you make a comment on like a picture or something, of a friend or family member, that's gonna really like draw the line. So that's it with that. Um, let's see. Number 12, name one thing you wish you knew when you were starting out. I think I wish I would have known how to get noticed better. And Sherry, mentioned this in our video and it got me thinking I, I really wish I would have known but honestly a lot of times when people are noticed so much there's a lot of intrusion into their personal lives and they do get a lot of the hate comments and not that I can't take it I just don't want to deal with it all right uh, number 13 is there any change you'd like to make to your content in the future? Uh, I kind of discussed that a little bit in the very beginning. I want to show more lifestyle um, things that I like, uh, maybe clothing and different kitchen gadgets, stuff like that. I want to do some more vlogs without 
featuring people in my life and what places. Uh, I like to do the, the voiceover vlogs where I take pictures and I've done a couple of those if you want to check them out. Uh, there's one I did on my Southern California trip and then I did one uh, for another occasion. I can't remember what it was. So I want to get more into vlogging, more into lifestyle, and I do want to talk more about living with chronic illness. Now this is a subject that it could be like a little iffy because sometimes, sorry, I need water. Sometimes when you talk about chronic illness, um, People think that, like, who cares? I hate to say that, but it's true. Or it's not enjoyed as much, but I feel that, like, it needs to be shared. I, I remember a specific person, I'm not going to say her name, but her channel was all about lupus, and she was going through a hard time, and people accused her of wanting to get attention. And I can tell you right now, if I want attention, I'm not going to act like I'm sick. That is, that's just not the way to get attention. Um, and also personally me, I have more than enough attention and love in, in my life, you know? So um, I will be doing some, cause I don't want to let like my thoughts of, oh, negative people not liking it or people just not liking it. I will. I, I want to get more into that because uh, it needs to be shared, uh, especially because I'm one of those people that I like to put be put together. Like I said, I don't wear makeup all the time, uh, but I like to look put together. I like to have my hair done. Yes, there are times when I'm feeling really sick and I'm in bed with a bun up or whatever in my hair, no makeup on, and I just am resting. But I want people to know that just because I have a life where I live with chronic illness doesn't mean that I can't take some of that little energy I have to make me feel better. And when I look better, I feel better. And it's hard to explain. But anyway, I'm going on and on about one question. That'll be talked about another time. Okay. Um... Okay, number 14, what company collab is your dream? I don't know if I really have a dream company because I'm not loyal to just one. And I don't know if honestly I have the energy to do that. Now, as far as YouTubers, um, Sherry had mentioned me. I'd love to do a collab with you. I'd love to do a collab with... Um, all that beauty with Lori. Can't remember her name. I'm so sorry. Put her down below. Um, she's really done doing a lot of great things on Instagram. You should check her out. And um, I don't know who else. You know, there's just so many people that you like and you want to be able to do their channel justice too. You know, so. But as far as like company, like makeup company or or like skincare, I don't, I don't really know. All right, uh, I say all right a lot, don't I? Number 15, what other creator do you admire and want to work with? I just told you right there. Um, so I answered that question. Uh, number 16, what kind of content do you hate? I hate any kind of content that is threatening um, I understand that sometimes people have strong opinions about things, but when you start threatening people and when you start, um, it's so hard to put in words. I don't like anything threatening. I don't like anything that's, uh, gonna upset anybody. I don't, I don't like, I'm sorry if you do this and you're successful, more power to you, but I don't like the mukbang where people get all this food and start eating 
I, I just don't get it. Um, one thing I do like are the ASMRs. I don't watch them much, but they're the ones where people will have like um, a microphone and they do the sounds to things like, that would be like ASMR. And sometimes those are relaxing, like late at night if you're having trouble sleep. But yeah, I, I don't like anything that puts down people and I don't like mukbang and it's M-U-K a-N-G. I just, it's not my thing. Not my thing. And it's not that I don't like to eat. I just, I don't know. Just not my thing. Uh, number 17. Have you ever had to deal with cancel culture? And if so, why? Honestly, the whole cancel culture, I don't like fully understand it. To me, it means that all of a sudden you go from popular to nobody wants to even talk to you. Or, and if it's something that like you did really terrible, then I'm sorry, that's on you. But if it's because you've got a group of people here that say things like what happened to me years ago, um, I think that's wrong. I, um, I'm a very like um, non-judgmental person and I let people live the life that they want to live. Uh, there are certain subjects and people call them people, I call them monsters that I think are horrible and I, um, but it's, it's just so complex. I guess I just, my theory is just to be a good person because it doesn't take that much to. And if you make a mistake, so sorry, if you make a mistake, just say you did. And I'm sorry and move on. Because, you know, no one is perfect. And, you know, I'm, I'm pretty forgiving unless somebody does something so horrific that it's just unforgivable. So that's my thought with that. Those were the 17 questions and this has been like 27 minutes. You can watch this um, in increments. You can skip over. I hope you watch most of it. And please leave me a comment down below, even if you just say hello. I need some ideas for videos because my brain is just like, okay, what do I do now? What do I do now? Um, do you like get ready with me's? I mean, I like to do them, but some people don't like them. Um, just give me some ideas down below. And if you haven't clicked that subscribe, whatever, please do so. Um, and give me a thumbs up. I know you probably, people that don't record videos or do videos, they have no idea how it, it kind of stresses us out having to ask. But the more people that like or comment, the more that I get on the algorithm and I'm seen and I get to meet more people and people get to meet me. And uh, that's about it. I hope you're having a great morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever time of day you're watching this. And if you're over in the UK, please stay cool or Europe in general. Um, we're really hot here where I live, but we have air conditioning. And I know in the UK they don't, so uh, I, my heart is with you. Take care of yourself, stay cool, drink lots of liquid, preferably water. And I'll see you soon. Bye.